Leftists destroy UC Davis. They claim they're scared that Charlie Kirk, a Boy Scout looking guy wearing khakis, was going to make them feel unsafe. So in order to feel safe, they destroyed the campus, spray painted it, broke things, vandalized it, shut down the speech, and now whew, they feel safe. One of the protesters, aka rioters, said this was totally preventable. You just didn't have to invite Charlie. That's what they're doing on campuses. It's happened to me over and over. This is like what's happened to me times 10. Today, the University Credit Union Center is boarded up. <laughs> the damage and vandalism occurred last night after Turning Point USA at UC Davis, a registered student organization, invited its founder, Charlie Kirk, to speak on campus. <laughs> Kirk is known for his far-right conservative views. Photos obtained by KCRA 3 from Pink Night Press show the situation unfold outside as the event continued on as planned inside. Students and people not affiliated with the university showed up to protest the event. Campus police responded to the incident. Members of the Proud Boys are pictured there too. This university tries to foster inclusivity and diversity, um, which goes counter to what TPUSA is trying to bring to the table. We spoke to a student protester who wants to remain anonymous. I will say there were people who were pepper spraying on either side. Yesterday, while opening up for Charlie Kirk with Turning Point USA at UC Davis, I found myself in the middle of some glass shattering chaos. Now, while we can continue to have the conversation about how Antifa never really gets held accountable for the destruction that they cause, I actually would like to point out and highlight one particular thing. Did you know that at the freedom-oriented events, you don't have to bull rush the cops and break the windows and the doors just to get in. As long as you conduct yourself in an orderly way, you will be ushered to your seat. He said protesters against the event did break windows. And those windows, like, yes, it does inconvenience the people who have to replace them, but you also have to think about the fact that this event was entirely preventable. Oh, what a disgusting idiot. As you can see, the Charlie Kirk people, the Turning Point advocates, me, Joe Bob, who does comedy shows with me from time to time, great guy, articulate, well-spoken. You might not agree with us, but we're just coming to you with our ideas. You can have your own. We're tolerant. Then you look at the Antifa, the people who claim they're scared, the ones who say, well, we, we don't feel safe when he's on our campus. So we burned it, smashed it, bashed it bop it, twist it, yank it. Remember that game? They did all of those things. Then when the news come, they want to turn their back on the camera. Can you interview me from here, please? Because uh, what are you so afraid of, dude? The problem is someone put in the comments, why don't they arrest all the students that did that? Because the administration agrees with the students. If a bunch of Trump supporters with USA flags came and marched and smashed a window, well, we already know what would happen in that scenario. They would go to jail, just like the January 6th protesters did, four, five, six, seven years with no trial as political prisoners. The left does this regularly, administration, the police force, the Capitol, Gavin Newsom. They will not touch it because these are the terrorist arm of the Democratic Party. Do you agree with what I said? Put it in the comments. We already have a yup. We'll be right back with a whole lot more of the riggedy, riggedy, riggedy right.